seriously, dogs seem to really love people a lot. A few weeks ago, someone went to the beach and met two dogs at their stay. The dogs treated them like old friends, played with them, and stayed with them all the time. Even when they were alone on the beach, the dogs ran to them and sat beside them. When it was time to leave, the dogs jumped into the car because they wanted to go with them. They even ran after the car for a long distance. It was sad to leave them behind. One day, the person received a call from someone a few miles away, saying they found a big, muddy dog sitting in their new pickup, seemingly wanting a ride. K.C. became the caretaker of a black kitten rescued by the person's son. Despite his old age and health issues, K.C. took on the role of a foster father. He groomed the kitten, shared his food, and played with him. The bond between the two was evident, with the kitten following K.C., like one of his own pups. When the person's older son and daughter-in-law visited with their cocker spaniel, who didn't like cats, especially K.C. Yeek, little black cat, tensions arose. The spaniel bullied both the cat and K.C., but the old dog protected his feline friend. In a confrontation, K.C. stood his ground and defended the little black cat, making it clear that the spaniel should leave his cat alone. On the other hand, cats leave you alone when you want, clearly indicate when they want to be petted, smell better as they take care of themselves, have pros and cons. You need to provide food, water, and a clean litter box for them. They shed, so be prepared for cat hair. Cats are curious and can be active at night. They have distinct personalities, but they don't follow orders like dogs. Cats have their quirks, but they make good pets for people who understand them. They can be intuitive. They can be left alone for longer periods. The person appreciates that their cat, Roca, doesn't seek attention most of the time. Dogs, on the other hand, require regular feeding, bathroom breaks, and lots of attention. The person loves both their cats and dogs, but leans more towards being a cat person due to the lower maintenance. Cats don't bark, don't need walks, and are generally quiet and less hyperactive than dogs. They groom themselves, have smaller poops, and are smart in their own way. However, cat lovers often find themselves at the beck and call of their feline friends. In an interview with a cat named Buddy, he humorously refers to his owner as a servant, but it's clear there's a unique bond. Cats see their owners as humans, and the special meow greeting is reserved for them. Buddy's owner, or Big Buddy, serves various roles, including being a mattress and providing entertainment with wand toys. The story about KC, the Irish setter, and the black kitten highlights the deep bond between animals. KC became a protector, groomer, and playmate for the kitten. The cat mourned when KC passed away and developed quirks afterward. Despite having neuroses, the cat continued to assert dominance, especially when faced with the spaniel who once bullied his beloved dog. The stories and observations highlight the unique qualities and relationships people have with both dogs and cats. Each pet comes with its own set of joys, challenges, and special moments. Considering the size and strength differences between most cats and dogs, it's understandable that cats might fear or dislike dogs. However, many dogs, including the one in this story, have a deep affection for cats. The person's youngest son once rescued a drowning jet black kitten from a storm sewer. The kitten found an immediate home with their Irish setter, KK. KC was a remarkable dog, large enough to put his paws on the person's shoulders and gaze into their eyes. Despite his size, he was gentle and kind. KC had a knack for welcoming strangers with a loud bay making it sound like the hound of the Baskervilles was lurking. One day, the person received a call from someone a few miles away, 
saying they found a big, muddy dog sitting in their new pickup, seemingly wanting a ride. K.C. became the caretaker of a black kitten rescued by the person's son. Despite his old age and health issues, K.C. took on the role of a foster father. He groomed the kitten, shared his food, and played with him. The bond between the two was evident, with the kitten following K.C., like one of his own pups. When the person's older son and daughter-in-law visited with their cocker spaniel, who didn't like cats, especially K.C. Yee, still black cat, tensions arose. The spaniel bullied both the cat and K.C., but the old dog protected his feline friend. In a confrontation, K.C. stood his ground and defended the little black cat making it clear that the spaniel should leave his cat alone. After KC's passing, the little black cat mourned and developed some unusual behaviors. Later, when the family inherited the spaniel, the now grown black cat asserted dominance and relished in bullying the spaniel, maintaining a lifelong grudge against the dog that tried to bully his friend. Please like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the bell icon. Thank you.